Do you know the world consumes 12,000 cans of tomato product every minute of every day? Cans like this sit at the end of an industrial model that goes all the way back, and it depends on massive resources, the resources that we've been talking about, the resources that we're running out of at an alarming rate. You might wonder how we got here. Let me share a bit of historical context. In 1775, James Watt invents the steam engine. We transition from manual labor to machine-based manufacturing, tapping into what seems like an endless supply of fossil fuels. In 1910, Henry Ford's assembly line drops the time to produce a car from 12 and a half hours to 93 minutes. A mass market's born, a mass market that continues this feast on these abundant natural resources. Fast forward to today. We all know that resource picture looks dramatically different. Let me share a few mind-boggling facts. There are more people than ever.、It、took us 12,000 years to reach three billion. We doubled that to six in the past 40 years. We're consuming more than ever. China alone will see 500 million people enter the middle class in the next 20 years. The raw truth: we are running out of resources. And the other raw truth. There are no sustainable products today. Products like this tomato sauce are part of a much larger system that simply must and will change. We're talking about one third of the 62 trillion dollar global economy. In this next industrial revolution, it's based on our immense resource pressure and never seen before information technology. Let me bring this to life using this everyday can of tomato sauce. The tomatoes in this can were actually grown and canned in Central California. Now, that's typically where a conversation like this would end. But today, we know so much more. Turns out, the can itself, the can itself, was actually、uh, pressed in northern Ontario from steel mine from South Korea. The spices sourced from a U.S. company, but if you trace them all the way back, they actually originate in Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, and Peru. Here's the full map of this simple. Can of tomato sauce. Every time a customer buys a can, it sets in motion a cycle that unconsciously uses massive resources: water, energy, natural gas. We used to focus on the tomatoes, but today we know so much more. We actually now know that the can is a major culprit. The can represents over 70 percent of the human health and greenhouse gas implications. Now, if you're like most people, the secret life of a product like tomato sauce. Pretty much secret, but it won't be, not for long. The facts are increasingly at our fingertips, transparent for all to see. This brings me to one of my firm beliefs: we are all going to be naked, so you might as well get buff. <laughs> buff. <laughs> one of the winners that I would bet on: the producers of this tomato sauce. Armed with the information that I just shared, they're challenging the status quo. They're employing practices from around the world. The results demonstrate the opportunity. Over the past 12 months, their tomato yield is up 20 percent. They use two billion gallons less water, and their costs are down 15 percent. They're better off, and so are we as customers. Some of the breakthroughs have been obvious, like 700,000 gallons of water previously wasted, 700,000 gallons a day. Previously wasted, now being reused in the production process. Other breakthroughs are less obvious, like integrated pest management, advanced irrigation techniques. But the point is, they had the courage to get naked, and they've allowed thousands of people and organizations to innovate for them. NGOs suggesting new ways of saving water, scientists pushing new energy technologies. Our naked tomato sauce friends. They epitomize this next industrial revolution. Gone are the traditional four walls of the business in favor of a more porous separation between those who produce tomato sauce and all of us and many more who can help produce it better. With every iteration, we move from this collection of these blunt, energy-draining processes to a more elegant industrial model. The tomato sauce producers, now that they've tasted this benefit, their hunger pushes them further and further. They're considering enzymes from the tomato plant to break down the tomatoes, 
instead of the traditional energy-intensive mechanical processes. With more visibility, they're connecting to other product supply chains, where tomato byproduct is becoming animal waste. There's no stopping this revolution. Nobody can afford not to get buff in this highly competitive, radically transparent world. Now we're currently in the first leg of a thousand-mile journey, but just like past generations, those who embrace the revolution, like Henry Ford and James Watt, they will become the heroes of innovation and design. As entrepreneurs, designers, investors, scientists, the opportunity for all of us and our children is absolutely staggering. And it all starts with this simple. Very humble can of tomato sauce. Thank you. <laughs>